Hello, everybody. This is Mush the Roomy, and I'm back again with more Corpse Party. All right, this is episode, what, eight, I think? Yeah, eight. Okay, so last time we were wandering around, as usual. Um, and so I finally know what to do. And then, um, if you are wondering, yet. Yeah! Was that Shinazaki just now? It totally was. Who else would it be? Uh, if you guys are wondering, yes, this is coming right off of me recording Presentable Liberty. Oh my god. I need a more lighthearted game uh, to play. So uh, we're, we're back into the thick of... Whoa. What was that? What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, that was just too perfect. Uh, that game show. Oh man. <laughs> ah. Oh god. Okay, that was good. That was good. What's going on here? K Kishinuma? Don't worry, I'm coming for you. You okay? Yeah. So what's going on here? Huh? Yeah? I have never heard anybody s Okay. What are you? Oh. Hello there. Wh what the heck are you? It was a rainy after school day. Just like this. I... I loved looking out from the corridor and watching the rain fall. What... What is she saying? Y you think I know? They were peaceful days when everyone else went home and I was all alone. I... was really no good with people. I had few friends. Most days, I passed the time alone. But I didn't mind. I loved being alone. I preferred it that way. That coward. Uh oh. What's going on? That vile stain upon the fabric of humanity. He was a disgusting opportunist. As always, I was alone watching the rain fall from that corridor when I suddenly heard my teacher from a distance. I'm worried about you, he said with a kind face. He kept talking as he approached me. Oh God. It was such a peaceful day. The sound of rain splashing against the building was heavenly. This day would be perfect except for that man. Oh, no. He kept talking to me until his lips drew close to mine. Oh, God. I was shocked. The man suddenly embraced me. He then began to rub his hands all over my body. In horror, I looked up at his face. It was fat, ugly, distorted. Of course I tried to shake him off and run, but he grabbed a hold of my arm and wouldn't let go. Oh. No, stop! Let me go, teacher! Don't! Come on, you came here because you want to do it, right? Don't kid yourself. Ah. Man, I hate this. I I'll tell everyone. You'll never be able to teach again. Is that what you want? <sighs> really? Go ahead and try it. You got no friends. You think some moody introverted bitch can oust me? Huh? Oh. You think anyone would listen to a pathetic wretch like you? <laughs> God damn it, I hate... 
Boise, uh, man, okay. I, I'll come back to that in a sec. Oh, this is rich. You poor, poor thing. <laughs> ah, terrible. You, you're terrible. Terrible, terrible. The absolute worst. Don't. Why? Why would you say that? Am I a bad person? Did I do something wrong? Even if I am a bad person, even after you forced yourself on me, what gives you the right to say that? Ah! M my bad. I went a little too far. Let me apologize, okay? Is this guy from Osaka or something like that? Really? Just, I don't, uh... No biggie, right? Let me wipe those tears for you. Get away from me! Stay back! If you take one more step, I'll... I'll jump! I'll die! You stupid slut! Hmm. Really, that doesn't feel good. No! Stay back! Enough of the theatrics! Get down here! No! Okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Let me take a break here, guys. Um. So. I understand there is a time and a place for I'll I'll put it this way I I understand whenever rape is used as a storytelling device um I hate it um it always I I I, I cannot stand the thought of it and I the the best example that I can come up with is in uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, I've seen the original Swedish version, and or the, the version of the film, rather. Uh, I haven't read the books yet. I know I need to. But uh, the scene where uh, Lisbeth is, is basically, she's getting raped uh, by her uh, guardian, um, that helps to put her in a, a much stronger role later uh, whenever she goes back and she obliterates the guy and you're sitting there fucking cheering for her like oh yeah Elizabeth yeah you get him get that bastard but for a text based game like this I will read it I will do the voices but just know that it, I, it doesn't get a rise out, out of me. It doesn't. It, it, I hate it. I really do. So, that being said, um, let's let's get back to the game, shall we? I died. I lost my footing on the edge of the third floor corridor, and fell. The teacher, in shock and horror over what happened, set out to conceal my body. However, while trying to hide my body, he ran into the principal. He didn't even try to save face. He confessed to everything. The principal decided it would be best for the school's name to be left untarnished and agreed to help hide what happened. Because of the heavy rainfall, not a soul was around to see them. Awfully convenient for those degenerates, wasn't it? I was buried deep inside the school basement, underneath the floorboards. I was listed as missing, and eventually, 
Everyone forgot about me. Terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Are you saying that ghost story was true? What, what does this have to do with us? Are you saying you're the one who dragged us down there? That is correct. Are you kidding me? Wait. There is something I must tell you. There is another me. What are you talking about? Naturally, I couldn't go to heaven. I couldn't cross over. I cursed that teacher. I cursed him and cursed him and cursed him. Over time, I had come to hate the whole world. All those people cheerfully going on about their lives. Faces that never knew true suffering. Trapped within this school, unable to cross over, I began to view their carefree lives with great envy. My hatred kept growing and growing until I felt something suddenly lift from me. That was when my spirit split. I had come to resent humanity until that resentment was all I had. My other half is the embodiment of all that hatred. She is the one who created these closed spaces and started summoning people at random into there. Her hatred is too strong. I can do nothing to stand against it. But for some reason, her power has been weakening lately. I managed to send the two of you back home. I understand, but I have one request. Please save the others too. I beg of you, can you do that? I am sorry, I cannot. Why not? They are too close to her. I cannot affect her sphere of influence. Even though you're both connected? I'm sorry. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? What do we gotta do to save them? That's... Please! Tell us how we can save them! There is one way. Tell us! You must head back to the school and dig up my body. Then, we can both rest in peace. We have to go back there? I don't recommend this. If you decide to head back, I cannot return both of you to your world a second time. But if we do nothing, Machida will die! Kishinuma? Let's go! We gotta save them! Nah! Let's just leave Machida over there. Nah, okay, fine. We've, we've gotta save him. I guess we gotta, huh? Yeah! Take us back! We'll surely rescue your soul! Are you sure? If you really want to, then I'll send both of you back. Leave it to us! Come on, let's go! Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I guess that's the warp sound. Um. Okay, I had wanted to call the dead girl in this one Sachiko. I am truly sorry. Please do your best. Yeah, um, I, I had wanted to call her Sachiko, and I realized after reading all of that that that's... She's not Sachiko. Sachiko is the, the girl in Corpse Party, the remakes. Technically, this is still a remake, but it's it's not Corpse Party, a uh, 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 blood cover. Um, Sachiko is, is the main villain in that one, and so she also wears a red dress. This girl wears a red dress, and so I had wanted to call her Sachiko, but the thing is, is that Sachiko never got raped.
so, uh, that's part of the story that got changed for Blood Covered. Um, also, Sachiko and that is supposed to be, I think, ten? Nine? Ten years old? Something like that? She's young. And that would just be uber creepy, as opposed to being... No, it's still uber creepy. Let me put it that way. So, um, yeah. So, uh... No, this is not Sachiko. This is the girl in red. So. Back to the game. <laughs> We all seem to be in one piece. Now let's find Sas uh, Satoshi's group. I can't read, still. It's from prison, I swear. Hey, Kishinuma. What's up? Thanks for coming with me. I know you didn't want to, because you're a coward. Oh, like hell I am. You're just an ice queen. We're going back with the emasculation. Great. I wish I could say that was true. I'm actually really scared. Come on, let's go. Okay, so... Yeah! Whoa! Hi. Be careful. This is something Satoshi will need. It's supposed to be placed somewhere. Acquired marble statue. Okay. What's this? Human... bones? Looks like it. Okay, uh, so... <clears throat> I hate saying this, but I, I kind of did uh, consult a guide. Bad me. Um, so... Oh, okay, it's the same music. Um, it's just looping over. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, uh, I missed notes one and two, so you can no longer return. Okay, yeah, here's here's notes one and two. Ha <laughs> ha, I forgot. <laughs> it seems someone had dropped a small scrap of paper. The handwriting on it appears feminine. Letter one. By the basement, there is an incinerator. There is? So what should we do? And that's it. Seems someone had dropped a... Okay, whatever. Letter two. On the wall next to the poster, there is a secret button. Next to the poster? What? And that's it. Okay. So, uh, now we have that. Yay. Okay. So, time to go back to Satoshi's group. But, uh, I, okay, I already know that. Shut up. Alright. <clears throat> yep, time to head back. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, wow, okay. Um, let's hope the rest of this is not as emotionally draining. <laughs> Yoshiki, Shinazaki, are you both okay? Satoshi! Mochida, are you unharmed? Thank God you're all, right, all okay. We are fit as can be. I'm a bit scared, but... Listen up. I know how to get us out of here! Oh hey, dialogue changed. No way! Yes way! But you're not gonna like it! But didn't you just say you found the exit? Hold on, Machida! We have something we're supposed to give you! For me? Aw, oh, you shouldn't have! What is it? Yoshiki and Ayumi fills in Satoshi's group on what just transpired. No way! Are you serious? Yeah. Anyways, we should split up again to find our remains. Got it. Satoshi's group acquired marble statue. Alright. So this statue... <clears throat> uh, wait. Let's explore this statue. See what it is. Uh, marble. It's a white statue made from human bones. That looks like a machete. Or something. It looks like a blade. I want to use it. Oh. Can't use it. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh. Oh, right. Uh huh. I remember exactly now where I have to go back to. All right. Um. So <laughs> I'm going to try and make these episodes a little longer. Um. I hate editing them when they're longer. Um. They suck. But 
for sake of trying to get through this as fast as I can, because I know what game I want to do next, and I totally want to get to it! So bad! Uh, not gonna tell you what it is, though. Ha! <laughs> You'll just have to see. Um, but no, so for sake of, of trying to get through this in less parts, I'm gonna go longer on the... Okay. Um, gonna go longer on the recordings. So! Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save. Yeah. Saving the game, saving the game. Take care, a single error may kill someone. Okay. Uh, what are you? It's a female statue. It seems like something goes in her hands. Nope! Not yet. Seems like something... No. Okay. So, looking back at our marble statue, it's a white statue made from human bones. Okay. So I have to put this in somebody's hands. Whose hands are these going to go into? Hmm. Do I go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, or what? Um. Well, it's. Oh fuck it! It's a phallic-shaped object. Uh. So you're a guy. I'm gonna put it in your hands. What happened? What was that? Hi. Okay. Was that right? Did I did I do the right thing? Okay. But what did that do though? Okay. Something goes in her hands. Right. What did it do? It's still quiet as hell in here. It's a little unnerving, honestly. Um I Okay. You're still going to go away. You're still gonna shut me out. Okay, I put the thing in his hands. Now what? All right, so I guess I have to find the other statue, I guess. Um, okay. Oh! Hello! You extended, all right, so we're getting somewhere, finally. <clears throat> Again. All right, uh, so I'm gonna actually guess that whatever it was I put in the- Oh, boy. I'm gonna stay away from him, because I might die. Get out. Okay! Don't have to tell me twice! All right, uh, let's save again. Oh, ah! Damn it! I accidentally saved over the wrong one. Okay, so let's see what happens if I touch you. Leave. Let's get out. Okay. Why do I gotta get out though? Leave. Okay. What's in here? Nothing. Ooh. Save me. Save me. What's with this guy? Stop it. Stop it. It wasn't my fault! I didn't kill you! Stop torturing me! Well... Uh-oh. Oh, it's the bad girl in red. <laughs> How disgusting. How wretched. It's all you self-absorbed adults' fault. How about I break you until you can't give any more empty apologies? Please! For Forgive me! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> you fool! Ouch! You think you can apologize for what you did? You pathetic puke stain! I will torment you for all eternity! Sorry guys, that was my phone. Suffer! More! More! P please S Stop! Jeez, what are you doing to him? God! Stop it! Stop what? Isn't he telling you to stop? Uh-oh. You twerp. What gives you the right to tell me what to do? I'll torment him as I please. How about this? 
One time offer. You leave, and I let you live. Oh, man. Okay. Which one's the right one here? I'll force you to listen, or let's all calm down here. Hmm. Huh. What do I do? What do I do? <sighs> okay. 50-50 shot. I'll make you listen! How nice! The tiny worms think they're giants. I'll kill you all! Oh god. I don't think words are gonna work, Satoshi. We need to run now. Wah! Please, you have managed to really piss me off. I'll have to do something special for you. Uh oh. Oh god. It's pointless. It's like all that existed was hatred. Big brother, do you think we can really go back home? No way we can win against something like that. You know what? Let's go in there, guns blazing. Yeah, that, there's a note left on the desk. One, two, one, three, four, five. What? One, two, one, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. You find a shiny blood red embryo statue inside. Hey, I got a new statue. Oh! Oh! Right! Because it's a female statue, the, the machete, or whatever it is, goes in the hands of dude, and embryo goes in the hands of lady because she's a lady and women are the only ones who can give birth. The babies. To... Even though the marble statue was placed earlier, it's now rolling on the floor. Acquired marble statue again. Alright, cool. Uh, what was that? What was that? I didn't like that. I really didn't like that. What was that? Okay. Uh, let's save the game yet again. Alright. And we're gonna go. No? Yes? And... Yes. What's that? Oh, what's... <gasps> yes! I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I made progress! A small golden key is trapped between the floorboards. Acquired small gold key. How descriptive. I think this is a piano key. We have one like this at home. You want a piano? What? Is that illegal? N not at all. It's kind of surprising. Let's go, Yuka. Alright. Let, let. Now you're ignoring me? Is playing the piano so unlike me? Apparently. But you guys really shouldn't split up like that again. Okay, yeah, everybody's back. Everybody's back. So we made a lot of progress this time, guys, but unfortunately, I'm all out of time. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Everything you need is down there. All right. So until next time, bye for now.